What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I'm, my life is in service. You know, I, I do a lot of stuff and try and help out people, and I love actually being in that position. I'm doing some extra railings on the porch for my parents, you know, because you don't want <laughs> a, a ounce of prevention, an ounce of prevention, as they say, um, putting an extra railing off of the back porch and stuff for my parents to make sure they got something to grab hold of. And actually, myself too, because the last thing you want to have happen is to fall off a porch and break a, bay, break a bone. And as you get older, your bones get brittle. So I'm doing that this morning before I go on to go grout the tile that I'm working on halfway to the Red Brick House to get back to the Red Brick House. So tonight I'll do my live stream with Game Time Brian and Space Cowboys. We go through and start talking about the draft and everything that hasn't happened with the Cowboys thus far. And so I uh, realized I needed another post. So I ran over to pick up another post. And I get a text message with just like, you know, ha ha, ha ha, from Philly 500. And I'm just like, okay, so just randomly, I'm getting a laughing. I, I don't know if he's just like going to work or something and he just thought about the Cowboys off season and just starts laughing. You know, it's like, let me share this with, with Mark. And so I literally said, random, just laughing at us. Okay, great. He shared with me a post that listed all of the players, the free agents that they have signed, that they have signed this off season, and that next year, get this, next year, that they have $49 million in cap space. Now keep in mind, they took what, a $34 million hit getting rid of Carson Wentz? Yesterday, you kind of got Stefan Gilmore, who kind of threw shade and threw the Cowboys under the bus and talked about, you know, good teams finds find ways to work out stuff. And in other words, you know, the Cowboys basically saying we're in cap hell and, you know, we ain't got no money and can't figure out a way and aren't even resigning their own players. And of course saying working with, you know, work uh, harder with less or work better with less or whatever bullshit that Jerry Jones throws out his mouth. But through shade on them, because you look at this and you say, something's not right here when you see a team that says, we can go out here and try and get like And that's by, by no imagination will all of these free agents work out for the teams that they're going through. Some of them, a year from now or two years from now, they're going to be cutting and saying, that was a waste. You know, like Namdi Asamoa going to Philadelphia and Vince Young and those guys. Those guys didn't pay off. But you could say guys like Namakitsu sure did um, to help them and things like that. Uh, you could say the trade for A.J. Brown definitely helped them as well. But be that as it may, we'll see how this class does. And whether or not you believe in them going in on these free agents, that's not the issue. The issue is being able to. Because here's where you start to look at this and you just wonder at what if. Um, what if? Because see, the Cowboys do a couple of things that are really, really good. One thing is finding undrafted rookie free agents and having them become players. You can look at this and say maybe Tony Romo might be one of the greatest. Uh, we'll see about Terrence Steele if he rebounds from the ACL, but that's another one that was undrafted. Peyton Hendershot, he needs a rebound year, but again, another guy that was undrafted. They're finding players that play and are starters without any compensation going to them. You can look at how they've been typically in the draft. Now, last year's draft class was injured and for the most part and didn't get a chance. They, they kind of screwed the pooch on Mozzie, 
We'll see if they come around this year because you can look at the draft class the year before and see the leaps that they took the second year that became really great players. So, and, you know, last year they talked about Cowboys losing Dalton Schultz. Remember, oh, Dalton Schultz, how are you going to let Dalton Schultz go? Well, Peyton Ferguson, uh, uh, Peyton Ferguson, Jason Ferguson. My brain, look, I'm so screwed up by Philly 5. Ferguson played better than Dalton Schultz. So you can look at it and say, last year they were saying we should get, uh, you know, um, with the Cardinals that from the Eagles, that we should have signed him, you know, or we should have paid a boatload of money to Dalton Schultz, you know, these kind of things. And it ended up being that the Cowboys were right about that. But could you imagine if the Cowboys, with the way that they usually draft, finding the Travis Fredericks, finding the Tyler Smiths and things like that, right? Finding the undrafted rookie free agents. Um, and even finding quality bottom tier free agents. Because that's the other part of the equation that they do really well, too. Because when they've hired, for the most part, guys like... Dante Fowler that people are crying about. How are you going to let this guy go? Well, nobody wanted him when they picked him up. When they said, you know, Randy Gregory, you know, we're not going to pay. People are like, oh man, how are you going to let that guy get out of there? And the reality is, is Dorrance Armstrong has pl been playing better than Randy Gregory did. So there, there's that part of the equation that you look at and say, yeah, that's good enough to get us to be competitive. But the problem is, it's just not quite enough that some of the guys that you're relying on are really, really young and inexperienced. They haven't been in those games that you need some guys that are veterans that can calm the crowd and things. And I think this just is like a light bulb that just went off in my head, is this is where the experience comes in with some guys that are a little bit better. If you just got the Cowboys' ability of finding in the draft players, finding guys, undrafted free agents, finding bottom-tier free agents, and just applied just a couple, just a couple really good free agents, this team could be a juggernaut. And the other part of this is if you combine that with somebody who actually knows how to work the cap? Like how he does? That instead of being in cap hell and having that extra money to make moves? Oh my God. Boom. You know, and, and I'll give you an example of, of things. You know, sometimes it's not the big things where you can actually save money. It's actually some of the smaller things that add up to big things, okay? For example, the reward programs, okay? Reward programs, you know, everybody's got one. You know, if you buy a whole bunch of stuff, it's not a whole lot of money, right? But because I do construction work, I go to Home Depot. I'm, you know, I, I am a, you know, uh, uh, elite member of, at Home Depot, which gives you a little, gives you volume, discount. So, you know, a board that you might spend 36 for, I'm going to spend 34 for. You know, I bought so much paint for so long, I get 20% off. So when you got a $50 bucket of paint, it's $10 less. Boom. And when I spend $5,000, I get like a $150 reward. It's not a whole lot of money, but that's a bit. You know, I, I've got uh, upside for gas, right? So when you buy gas, you get 10, 15 cents off a gallon. Well, this sucker here takes 32 gallons. So that's, you know, four or $5. Okay, it doesn't sound like much, but then you say four or $5, sometimes two, three times in a week, well, that's $12. So you add $12 here and a couple dollars there. And this is where you start saving money or you buy things when they're on sale, right? Yeah, buy them on sale. You know, oh, and then, of course, if you have the contractor's credit card, 
where you had need to pay it in 30 days, you get an extra like two or 3% off. So you're getting a volume discount. You're getting, if you pay it as soon as it comes, you're saving that money. Before you know it, all of a sudden, you've actually saved two or three hundred dollars. That's money that's in your pocket that you can use for something else. Maybe you go out and buy another drill. Because actually, they got uh, Ace Hardware has a special because I'm a rewards member with them, right? So I've got like $25 in credit. They got a $179 DeWalt hammer drill, mail order special for $120. So if I take the $30 that I have on rewards and then the 2% that I get off, instead of spending $179 for that drill, I got that drill for like 80 bucks. And see, that's kind of what Howie does with working these deals. The Cowboys, I don't know what they're doing. They're rich, they got all kinds of money and they, they just don't seem to know how to work the system. You gotta work the system so you can do more. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy when you sign one outside free agent and you're still broke ass. And they sign all these people and still have more money than you do right now. Now, I still believe the team is going to be a good team next year because I've seen this happen before. But hey, what do I know? I'm a guy with a voodoo doll and um, does construction work for a living. I'm a broke ass. Peace.